called, as you know, it's a cultural community, Rastafari cultural community, and it really starts from. Truth of man, them looking for a livelihood mm -hmm. and, uh, and use leather as one of the mediums and little food, pottery, mm -hmm. carving. Mm -hmm. Different different skills, mm -hmm. and they used to play the trade up in the main part of town. But you know, through the Rastafari culture, there's involved marijuana, and they always try to find things to fight against the Rastas. Yeah. Then they had to move them. The government moved them and put them in a space behind this cheap side market, yeah. which in the space out there is what name Temple Yard. Yeah. So it's just ironic, you know, with the, with the nature of Rastas, yeah. and the name just suit. Yeah. And fit. So everybody taught me the Navy sub, so but it's the space, yeah. not name Temple Yard. So then we was out there temporary for what I'm called about 31 years. We wanted to expand the market. Mm -hmm. Bring me over here again, we over here about 15 years already. This is Ellipse, one of the um, founders of this community too. I want the Grand Masters in carving. So I can let him show you a couple, a, piece, a couple of pieces that he did, you know? Mm -hmm. And he's traveled all over the world doing this work, representing the Rasta community with this carving. In 2011, we had a fair here in 9th April. 2011, I burned down 10 shops. These works here, we really get burned in the shops. So what really happened, they realized they got a collection of work, and all that different, because these unique. They ain't nobody that got a collection of work. These pieces here was in Haiti for Carry Festa last year. Mm -hmm. Trudy Barbie, this government that got them people pieces to Haiti for Carry Festa. You know, all, all the work that you see here now is after 2011, not just this is work. Huh? The series of this work is the ancestors. The purpose and the title of the work is the age of the wood. Some of this wood could be over 2,000 years, could be 3,000 years. These are the bigger branches of these trees. Most of this wood comes from Westbury Cemetery and the cemetery there. So these are the smallest city words got titles from them. All the mark ancestors, the signatures and the date. And a number two. Because there's a series of words that's about fifty some body pieces. We you seeing is only some of the pieces. I like this piece. This word here now called cry blood. I like this piece. After the fair there's only five words I was left with. This is one of the work of the five. Mission is vex. The rest of the work in the country, because you have a gallery in the country too. And after the foyer we have something we call it Rising from the Ashes. Mm -hmm. Something similar to movies keep with Tempe Yard Productions. Yeah. And they try to rebuild the place mm -hmm. and you know, try to relocate everybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This one is more my later piece, they call it crackhead. Mm -hmm. No, no, you see they will have a crack. It is going to so some parts will get soft, but if you observe the top of the hat, the top of the, the wood. Like the here is really books. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Christian is Bibles. Mm -hmm. Christian create ideologies or religion. Mm -hmm. We're really causing the confusion in the world this day is religion because shooting religion is where we got so much wars and people killing people. No. That's the cross that are representing the church. We ain't finished yet. So each of these books can be a different denomination. I can write words in them, we ain't finished yet. All the people had crack. You know, Bardang is a place where life is hard. <clears throat> but poor people have to struggle to continue and to be successful in this corrupt, dumb, trodden place. Politicians are tricksters and deceivers. So when they come round your yard, run them from round your yard. Cause they never met nothing easy. The life continued to be hard. Now when election time come, how these politicians the runner come around and tell you vote for them, them will say about you and the affairs of the land. But look at them. Of African descent, some of them are more to dark at the night. Still dressed in Westminster look, jacket and tie, and going through allegiance to the old Queen of England, the old mother, Harlot of Babylon, you can read it in Revelation that who are the old colonial laws that they stop poor people from getting by no matter how bloody hard they try run the house of parliament and tell so much play reality them don't care about you or i them don't even care if the little youths die but this is one rastafari come down to test the fight 
the good house of parliament and make all kind of big speech. And now they got the boss to tell the white developers stop placing land out of the poor people reach. But as Christmas time, you see how the huffing and puffing through community, giving out hamper with help, hamper and ham, a whole and party for the young and old, sit and get in the construction, see a tree, and pack up plate high with enough garbage for the people to eat. That's why you don't like them, and I don't trust them. They are too bloody deceitful. All during the year, they don't know who got empty. As long as them and them associate going full. Shut up, politician, don't say a word. I find you to be a blasted pretender and a fucking deceiver. You just talk and talk and talk too much. Talk a lot, you ain't saying nothing. Talk a lot, you don't do nothing. Shut up, blasted pretender, fucking deceiver. Yeah, that's what the parents did. Live at Temple Yard. Rasta community. It's one of the elders and one of the founders of the Rasta community. I put. Thanks for having you, I put. The spirit of Temple Yard is the Rastafarian people who are spirit to resist and to survive colonialization on the plantation. You understand? So, self reliance. You understand? Self sufficiency. Unity. I appear from the black experience. Yeah. So anything involving black people anywhere in the globe, you'll find David Guru. My inspiration uh, comes from the actual experience of African peoples anywhere in the diaspora. Yeah. You know, things that we've been through. But my work, uh, I, I go to history and I, I salvage a lot of the things that have been buried in the debris of history. I look for uh, unsung heroes. And I bring the, these people to the fore. Yes, I'm now celebrating a new exhibition uh, starting the 28th of November at the Parliament of Barbados. It's, it's going to be entitled Black Iconic Figures, where I'll be highlighting people like Shirley Chisholm. Uh, she had Barbadian roots. She went to school in Barbados. I'll be also featuring Prince Hall. He's the first black mason on the planet, opening in Massachusetts in the 1700s. I'll also be featuring Rabbi J. Arnold Ford. He's also Barbadian. First man on, rest, on record to write the charter for Marcus Garvey's UNA year. And the list goes on. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds interesting, man. So you look forward to that. Most kindly. Okay. Yeah. You're right, most welcome. All right, yeah. Respect, yeah? Thank you Thanks, very much. Thanks, brother. This is Guru, one of the founding members of the community. And he, as he explained to you, he into art and so forth and flim. And he's one of the grandmasters of the works. You do you know? Yeah. yeah. Thank you very kindly. Mm -hmm. What is in my food? This brother Roy. And his son. I just see I get him my food. From the brothers, mm -hmm. and this brother is one of the brothers that helping develop the area. As you see, mm -hmm. he into food and stuff. We see, we call it like a food, you know, a vegetarian stuff. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But his is very good stuff. Yeah. Daddy Roy, yeah, what's going on, big man? Yeah, brother Daddy Roy, everything good to be on camera, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Come, um, Real Asian food, man. Yeah, yeah. Okay. real old school, real old school. So, what's that you got there? Um, this is a split pea rice. Yeah, Lenten people. Vegetable pasta. Mm -hmm. I can put on some ice cream. You know. This brother here. Mm -hmm. This is another one of the brothers that from the community for many years. Yeah. And he's doing his own products too. Mm -hmm. um, you got Roots Plus, everything. You see the sign there, Roots Plus. Mm -hmm. So when you come by Bearers, uh, you come to Temple Yard, you'll see Roots Plus. Yeah, living drinks. Living oh, yeah. drinks, you know, a good healthy drinks. Yeah. yeah. So this is one of the founding members too of Tempe Yard from right. Rockers Alley days. Yeah. Then over to the other Tempe Yard and over to this section where he is right now. Mm. You know? So from back in 1976, he was one of the brothers that built this community. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Brother Mark, you know? Okay. He's one of the grandmasters in this okay. work. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So you gotta highlight mm -hmm. these brothers, right? These are the brothers that caused this place to be here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the far right. This is the bread man here named Bengi. Mm -hmm. He's the, the artisan for all this work you can see in this shop. As you can see, back. this one here now. This one here now is my latest creation. As you can see, it's still in it's still in progress. Yeah. On the mall and, and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah. So when it when it all comes comes together, with, you know, mm -hmm. I can put some elastic in there. Yeah. And I'm up the design nicely and everything will look, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. come together looking nicely and stuff. The organization is not 
a Rasta organization either is Afrocentric, wherein we have members from the Spiritual Baptists involved, people who do with, deal with comedic connections involved, is a Afrocentric um, organization, Orishas there, you know, different types of people, different backgrounds, wherein we're trying to build an economic base. So it's not only for only wrestlers, it's culture, tourists, visitors, everything. And we would like some visitors from England to come over, America, don't care you from, to come over to Tempe Yard and visit us and experience the cultural life in Tempe Yard.